Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I am an idol of Hunter on the Whisperwind server, and here I am in Encourage. I am gonna show you how to solo this as a Hunter for the mount. So Encourage is in Syphilis at the bottom left of the map, and I am here at the Encourage Temple. Now there are two areas to this instance. Now take when you go in through the gate, take the right portal. And this is a raid instance, so you have to make sure you have someone else partied and then change it to a raid. I am right now in my hunter tanking spec, but I am in my full DPS set because these guys really do very low damage and most of the time uh, just my self heals will be enough to tank these guys. Now the first guy I'm fighting right now is the Obsidian Eradicator. What this guy will do is just hit your pet and ever, every so often he will uh, suck mana from you and add it to his pool. There is really nothing special, you can actually just auto shot this guy and just go AFK for a few minutes until he is dead. And if you're just gonna fight this guy, then you don't even need your hunter tanking spec. You can just be in any spec with a tanking pet and you could pretty much kill him with auto shot. Now for this next group, what you need to do is send your pet off, make sure it has all the aggro, and tab through all the four mobs because these mobs are linked together and you have to make sure none of them have mortal shot. A mortal shot will ever, every so often cast you with a debuff that decreases healing by 50%. And to fight these guys, I needed to be in my hunter tanking spec because without it, I wouldn't have survived. At a, you have to fight them one at a time and each of them have a type of debuff that will hurt you or your pet and once one of them dies then the debuff from one of them goes into the other three or the other left remaining uh, remaining alive and once it dies it will heal every one that is still alive so don't bother trying to take them all down to about 10% and then trying to kill them all because it'll just heal them back up and at about 40% they will enrage the, the one that you're fighting so just cast a tranquilizing shot and enrage will be gone you have to make sure you have men pet up at all times and just make sure your pet stays alive because there are a few times where your pet will get very low in health and with mortal shot your pet pretty much wouldn't survive so that's why if you do get one with mortal shot uh, either let your pet die, dismiss your pet, and then feign death and try again because the debuffs they have are randomized. Now there are a few others you need to take note of uh, debuffs. Uh, one of them is rejuvenation which will heal the one who has the debuff uh, about 3000 HP every 3 seconds. So you don't want that debuff to be shared among the other ones remaining alive so that's probably one of the ones you want to kill last as well as there is another debuff which will punt your pet and decrease its threat and what this will do is let you lose threat as a hunter that's not very important because you can just feign death but it's not something you want all the mobs to have so again, that's also one of the very last ones you want to kill as well. And so the last one I'm fighting here had the rejuvenation debuff. So it took me a while to kill him because I had to fight against the 3000 per 3 second heal. And so in this instance before you can hit the first boss there are three obsidian eradicators and uh, eight sentinels in total. Now there's 
two ways you can do this. You could fight all the enemies before the boss and then uh, you refresh the instance and try again. Or you just fight the obsidian eradicators which is pretty much easy sauce. The only thing is just remember there is a limit to how many times you can enter an instance within an hour. So uh, if you kill the sentinels as well then you will get eight more times uh, the chance of it dropping a mount. And so there's everybody. Uh, there, I just got another blue mount. Now there are four different types of mounts that can drop in this instance. So let me just reset the instance and walk back in. You can only reset if you are the raid leader. So either you reset it or have the raid leader reset it. And there everyone is again. So you can just rinse and repeat and kill everything. Now let me just show you the types of mounts that they drop. So here is the blue battle tank. Now unfortunately you can, you can only use these mounts in Encourage. Too bad because this is a great looking mount. Now there is the blue, the green which I'm going to show you here the yellow as well as the red the three uh, green blue and yellow have a 10% chance of dropping from each of the mob there but the red have about a 1% chance to drop so that's much much rarer and I still don't have the red one yet so that's why I'm still continuing to farm on garage now these mounts do count towards your achievement for the 50 mount or the 100 mount so happy collecting and that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and take care till next time